Hello everybody, Dmod, Gmod here, and welcome back for another day of Pikmin 2. In the last day, we made our final, absolute final trip to the Awakening Wood. And as you can see here, we now have all the treasures of the area. All dungeons completed, all above ground treasures collected. Everything is going pretty well. And I think today, something that's actually really cool I should explain is that now you have all five Pikmin types, you can pretty much go in any order you want. There is no set order yet to do things, but if I want to, I can go back to the Valley of Propose. I go to the perplexing pool. We can do whatever the heck we want from this point forward. However, I think since it's been a while since we've been to the Valley of Repose, and now that we actually have blue Pikmin, so we can cross that big pool of water we saw the first time we went there, I think today we're going to be going to the Valley of Repose and seeing what we can get done there. So that being said, ready, steady, a go. Let's not waste any time. I do have to say though, how the heck is there a pool of water in the Valley of Repose? It is like snowy everywhere. I don't, I don't really get it, but whatever. Nintendo logic. <laughs> Alright, here we are, Valley of Repose. Now, the first thing you're going to notice here is that there's actually a lot of pellets around your main base compared to what they were before. And I'm definitely going to take this opportunity with these pellets to definitely get some red Pikmin grown. And wow, I didn't have to order them to attack it, they just did it for me. Alright. So as you can see, there's a five pellet back here, which is good for getting some Pikmin to change its color. So, there we go. Over some red Pikmin that way. Is there anything up here? Oh yeah, there's eggs up here, so if you want to get some nectar early on today. There's some nectar up there for you. This air, like the base becomes a really, really good place to grow some Pikmin and just keep your numbers going. Going in strong. Once you come back here to the Valley of Repose after you've done some stuff. So in a way, the Valley of Repose is actually a pretty good way to just get some Pikmin going or just regrow your numbers if you're like lacking them. Anyways though, that being said, let's grow these red Pikmin out here. And now we got a total of 50 reds. That's a lot better than what we had two days ago, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, let's take out our Pikmin for today. Let's take out, uh... You know what? Uh, I'll take out 25 blues. I'll take out 20 yellows, I think we'll do. Yeah, we'll do take out 20 yellows. And then for the rest of my Pikmin, I think we'll just take out... Uh, let's take out 15 whites. And... Maybe like 15 purples. I think that'll be probably pretty good. We've got 10 left over. Oh, or they can bring back a pellet and now we don't have 10 left over. Alright, wahoo. We'll get an extra two blues. <laughs> and I think that'll do it for today's squad. Alright, let's get some these two blue Pikmin. And now with our entire team here, let's go get on our way. Actually, before we get going, we got time. We're just starting off today. How about we go up here? Let's go get these eggs. Let's go get some nectar. It'll make today slightly less painful about these leaf Pikmin here. Alright, here we go. Let's break this open. And oh, what the hell? Oh, God. Aha! This time I actually have my purple Pikmin ready. And as you can see, if you... Holy crap, that was a mess. But yeah, as you can see, if you knock out those enemies, they will drop tons and tons and tons and tons of nectar. So, it is definitely worth taking them out. And also, we got a red potion here, which is kind of nice. So, I guess, uh, why not? And there we go. All right, not bad at all. Just like that, we now suddenly have an entire squad of 100 on the field. Let me make sure not missing any Pikmin just quickly because, uh, yeah, okay, everyone's with us. That's good. That's good. Alrighty, that being said, how about we pluck for Pikmin and now for real, let's get going on our way. <laughs> and ooh, right over here. Once you go on for a little bit of time of the day, you'll see this 10 pillar grow, which we'll definitely get that before the end of the day. So yeah, really good way to grow some Pikmin if you're lacking in numbers at the start of this base here. And that being said, I think we're done here. Let's get going. Take you out. Hey, the bubbler's back. I could just ignore him, but it'll probably be much easier if I just take him out here so we don't have to worry about him later. So let's just take him out now. Go, 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 and what the? You guys see? Look at the red Pikmin. They're like spazzing out. That looks really weird. Anyways, uh, let's get our blue Pikmin here. There we go. All wait, 27. I guess we have 27 blue Pikmin. All right. Weird number, but we'll take it. And if I remember correctly, you want to walk through here a little bit. And aha! There's a gate over here. You want to have your blue Pikmin work on this. And I don't 
think if I remember this area right, because it's been a little bit. Okay, actually, no, I shouldn't say that. I know exactly what's going to go on here. So what you want to do for now is you want to take out this fence, because once you get care of this, we can actually worry about getting through this pool of water, because as well, there's not much else we can do. As you can see here, we got a little shortcut back to base through this way, so that's kind of handy to know. But at the moment, there isn't really too much left we can do besides wait for this gate to be taken care of. And oh, it's actually going kind of fast. Should I cut away? I don't know if I should cut away. Um. I don't really know if I should cut away. Ah, you know, it's probably almost done at this point. I'll, I'll just, I'll just keep it going. Come on, guys. Break it faster. Get more brain damage. Now you guys are already dumb enough, but hit your heads harder. I need you guys to have more brain damage. Almost there. Come on. Move faster. <laughs> and with this being almost done, a little bit more. Come on. I can feel it. It's almost there. I can feel it in my bones. There you go. All right, there. Now we can get through here. Then the moment we get through here, you want to go over here, and we see one of these things again. One of these big cracks in the ground. You want to have your pick and attack this. And you can probably already guess what's going to happen if you know what happened before in Awakening Wood. There you go. And with that, we've defeated Water, our greatest enemy. And now that being said, now all Pikmin types can get across over here, and we can actually keep exploring the Valley of Repose, because everything left in the area is all beyond this point, so... Probably a good thing we got rid of that water, huh? <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. We got a bridge over there, we got some water dumples in the water here. I gotta say, water dumples, those guys must be a little bit uh, chilly, I gotta say, in the water. Then again, we don't really know if water dumples are like... I mean, obviously we know now that they're fine in water, they're living here. Go, 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 go. There you go, nice and easy. Let's take up the other one. This first day back in the Valley of Repose, it's mostly going to be taking our enemies so we can get into the dungeons when we come back for tomorrow. Because I, while it is probably possible we can get both dungeons done today if we really hurry, I kind of doubt it. Oof. Oh shoot, we got a festive cannon deal over here. This enemy here is a little bit different than the regular armor cannon deal, as this one actually has homing rocks compared to the normal one. As you can see here, oh god. And did no one die? I thought someone would die for sure, alright. Yeah, as you can see, this guy's rocks were actually homing, and here's a cool little trick you can do with this. If you hone the rock back into them like this, you can actually have them kill themselves. Aha! <laughs> so a pretty neat little trick you can do with that. You can use our little rocks against them, which will instantly kill them pretty much, so very handy. A fiery blowhog. In fact, here's the- I actually have an idea. Hold up, I have actually have a genius idea. Watch this, my tactical prowess is about to show right here. Alright, let's go get the attention of this guy. Alright, come here. Hey, ugly. Alright, now we want to shoot him a rock. They actually, the rocks don't actually fall after Pikmin, they fall after the captain. So if you want to, so you can actually use the rocks to your advantage. And ba-boom! There you go. <laughs> Alright, next up. Uh, let's have to take out the burrow then, shall we? Aha! <laughs> wow, this is actually really fun. All right, there we go. There's two taken care of. Let's take a kid. Let's not. Let's have him knock himself out now. Okay. Ow! Ow! <laughs> I'm a pancake now. And there you go. That's a heck of a lot easier than doing what we did before. Or, or, or at least trying to knock him out the normal way. So you can use the rocks to your own advantage really well. We just took out everyone super quick. All right. Now that being said, I think we'll just have our blue pickman work on this bridge over here. That way, all of our pickmen get across. Oh, I left an enemy behind. I did not realize that. All right, one second. Let me just go around here. Come on, breathe fire. There we go. All right, go, 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 there we go. Everything's clear. Now we can start building the bridge. And while they're building the bridge, let's go have a look around and see what we can find out around here. Because Olimar's got the other Pikmin, so it's... Uh, not nah, Louis got the other Pikmin, not Olimar. Alright, so we got a poison gate over here. We're gonna need our white... Eh, we're gonna need our, Yeah, we're gonna need our white Pikmin for that, so we're gonna wait for the bridge to be built. We got... Ooh, we got a... One of those, alright. What else we got here? Oh, we got... Oh, this is a... This is a dickish enemy placement. Oh, I remember this. 
It's a freaking cannon beetle out of a hill, so it's really hard to get to him. We got a dungeon over there, and oh, the bridge guy finished building. All right, one second. Let me have Louie get all the Pikmin. And now Louie can get across with us. All right, cool. Let's get across. All 100 of our Pikmin are all with Louie right now. <laughs> all right, there we go. So I think for now, we're going to have him focus on the gate over here. Just take that back quickly. All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, we got the... Actually, I don't even need to really worry. I can just take out my part. Yeah, we can just take our purples to take care of this guy quickly. All right, go, 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 go. Nice and easy. All right. And then we'll get our white Pikmin. I said our white Pikmin, not just there. All the white Pikmin. There you go. <laughs> All right, we'll have them start working on this. Unfortunately, we can't take the poison generator until the gate's down, so we're going to have to leave it to just our white to take this down. And come on. Focus. Oh, this stupid hill is going to make this really annoying, isn't it? Right, there you go. They can start working on that. All right. Meanwhile, let's get the rest of our Pikmin over here. And I'd prefer to get care... To, to, not to get care. To take care of this armored cannon beetle up here, which is going to be really annoying. Actually, you know what? For now, I'm just going to focus on this bridge. Let's just focus on this bridge for now. We'll worry about those enemies later. For now, let's just focus on the bridge. Uh, no. Leave my Pikmin alone. Leave him alone. Oh, perfect. He pretty much missed all of them. Nice. And there we go. Bridge built. Okay, now with that being said, let's take care of you. Okay, go, 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 Get him! Have a party on his back! Ah, it sounded really weird, but shush. Alright, there we go. He's taken care of. And that looks really weird. The pellets just came out like... That one looks really weird. Anyways, you can see here, we actually have a dungeon unlocked now, so that's pretty good. And I think we will probably jump into that before the day's over. But before we worry about that, how will we go check out how the white picker are doing? They are doing... Ah, uh, they're trying. <laughs> I guess while they're doing that, what we can do for the time being... So I'll get my purple Pikmin here. And I'm gonna go try and take care of that annoying arm and cannon beetle that's on the hill over here. Get our Pikmin together. Oh, God. This is going to be really tricky. Ah, uh, purple move. Oh, move, 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 move. This is really big. It's to be placement. Holy crap. This is evil. Oh, God. This is really, really evil enemy placement. Good job, Nintendo. You know how to make a game challenging. Oh, God, God, God. Oh, back away, back away. Oh, God, this is scary. Oh, this is so evil, Nintendo, why? Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, go, 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 Come on, keep going. Yeah, there you go. Problem solved. That is probably the most evil enemy's place I've ever actually seen in a Nintendo game. Holy crap, that was scary. <laughs> Making, like, an instant kill enemy be, like, on a really high slope that's hard to get, that was... Genius, but evil. I guess while the white picker finishing that, I can point out a little cool detail here. So this crown here, as you can see, it's actually Peach's crown, which is actually pretty cool. However, it's on a little snowman. Isn't she beautiful? Look at this, look at this queen. Isn't she pretty? And normally, I start taking the treasure back. However, we're not going to have enough time, so I'm just going to focus on getting these gates down. And possibly... Oh! I'm not even going to be able to get the gate down. We might just go run into that dungeon over there. All right, come on, guys. I believe... Come on, you have a little bit more time left. If they don't get it down by like the 10 second countdown, I'm gonna grab my white pick, my picture and start running for it. All right, perfect, they got it down. Okay, break the generators, go, 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 go. Come on, guys, come on, come on. Yeah, there you go. And if I remember, aha, there's the other dungeon up here. As you may remember from the, uh, the screen, there's actually only three dungeons in the Valley Proposed, and now we found both of them. All right, interesting. My metal detectors are reacting violently. I can only conclude that there may be some sort of machine below. But that seems illogical. Illogical, you say. Alright, let's check out this dungeon. This over here. This here is the subterranean complex. And I'm going to warn you, this dungeon can be kind of difficult. So if you're not too sure if you can handle it, maybe you want to wait on that for a little bit. So I don't think... Oh, actually, we might actually just have to jump into it. Uh... You know what? Frick it. 
I wasn't gonna jump into the dungeon today, but you know what? I think we're gonna do it. Let's go, 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 go. All picking with me. Yeah, all hundred picking stay with me and my squad. All right, here we go. I think we're gonna jump into this today. You got the subterranean complex with fire, electricity, and poison. So you got pretty much everything but water. However, it's gonna need to bring my blue pickering because, as you guys may remember, even though if there there may be water in the dungeon, if it's not required to go through. They will not put it as a hazard. However, even though it could be made a shortcut if you have blue Pikmin. Anyways, that being said, though, I think... I'm, you know what? Yeah, I think we're going to jump into it today. Sorry about the weird cut, guys. I have to take care of something quickly. Anyways, though, we're jumping into the dungeon today. Let's go. Subterranean Complex. Here we go. And like I said, this dungeon, if it's the dungeon I'm thinking of, this one can actually be kind of a doozy. So, uh... Pray for me, folks. Here we go. Subterranean complex, sub level one. Let's enter. And, oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm thinking of a different dungeon. Ah, this this shouldn't be too bad. As you can see, we got like a snowy dungeon here. Then again, the Valley Repose is kind of known for that, isn't it? And while we just got here, we just made it here to the first floor. I think we're actually going to be calling it a day here, just because I'd like to be able to go have a full episode of exploring the dungeon next time we jump into it. So, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And, uh, well, I guess you already know what we're doing next time, so I guess I don't have to say it. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.